Hello SGD and this will be a video on the Long Yu Caves. Um, been coming for a while but I uh, thought I'd put it together after some... Anyway, uh, Long Yu Caves made by a lost civilization. This is the, the so-called Curious Being channel but there's plenty of others that cover this. Prehistory civilization, we've lost ancient technology. You hear the same thing, prehistory civilization, we've lost ancient technology you'll uh, hear it all the time uh, some will you know mystery history uh you know it's it's aliens all right so let's look at some pics of the cave or the grotto as it's called the dragon cave i believe is another term for it okay, let's go through some of the pics and uh then break it down as we've all lost ancient high technology stuff uh you don't even put, need to put sunlight on it. You just you, you need a LED from 50 meters, and then it, it falls apart. Okay, those are some of the pics. Now let's start looking into it. Well, what is the cave made out of? It's made out of long U sandstone. It's a sandstone cave. Okay, uh, fine grained homogeneous sandstone with negligible, negligible clay content. 55% quartz, uh, again an important point because you'll hear, oh but granite, oh, that's sandstone, but granite hardness. Sandstone, including the most crumbly, crumbly sandstone, beach sand, it, uh, like technically most scale is about minerals, not about stones. But the mineral that makes up granite or gives it its hardness is the same mineral that gives sandstone its hardness. Sandstone has more quartz as a percentage than what does granite. Sandstone on Mohs hardness scale is harder than granite. So if you hear Mohs hardness scale, blah, 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 it's, uh, you know that they don't know what they're talking about. Or in terms of a lost ancient high te technologist, they do know what they're talking about, but they keep selling this lie because it undermines this narrative that they've built up over years. But uh, this will relate to Sydney sandstone as well. Sydney Basin, you know, it's just one big block, you know, chunk of sandstone, whether it's from the Blue Mountains to the coast. Uh, the major public buildings, the most nice ones are built of Piermont sandstone, higher quality one. Uh, we have older, you know, predating advanced machining and diamond technology. So the mystery, so what is the mystery of a long U cave or grotto? It's the parallel lines. Zoom in a little bit. Uh, the lines are at best parallelish. With a simple ruler, you would expect a lot more parallelness from this. Just by using your, you know, a really dodgy, you know, just rule of thumb, using your hand, you could get these parallel. They are, firstly, the, the large lines are parallelish at best. This is not advanced, lost, ancient, high technology, even by primitive standards of like really uh, lazy measurement, you would expect a hell of a lot better than this. Uh, these columns, well, are they lost ancient high technology? Uh, well, that's the great thing about lost ancient high technology. When something is perfect, you know, really high quality made, well, that's evidence of machining and advanced lost high technology from a lost ancient civilization. When it's imperfect, well, that's evidence that it's a machine, you know, and the machine went off. Uh, parallelish lines at best. I mean, okay, let's look, we'll look at the tool marks as well. So, um, look here, these relief carvings are much better, much more impressive, and even has stone working goes, they're, bar they're barely noteworthy. Uh, I don't, um, well, I do get it because it's a lost advanced technology is a giant grift. Uh, then we have all the, the machined parallel lines. Um, well, it, this is rather average stone masonry. We'll look at that better. So here we have a beautiful carving, yeah, Buddhist, um, but this is what intrigues them, of advanced lost ancient high technology by a lost ancient civilization. <laughs> yeah, all right. Um, Okay, so zoom in on the marks. Now the ones which go horizontal here, not even close to parallel by mediocre craftsman standards. Not even close. Notice the shadows as well. This is 
dodgy work. You know, in ter- well, it's good enough for the purpose, but to say it's precision or advanced technology is just uh, ridiculous. Okay, zoom in a little bit more on these marks, and we'll contrast them, and we'll look because these are the other parallel lines. Okay, so again, zoom in on those. Let's try and get the best ones. And what do we have? Well, same sort of thing, and the same sort of thing over here. Uh, I'll post. I, I I reposted this video. These are sandstone workers. You know, old old school st- sandstone workers. They're not using carbide tools. They're just using steel. In the full video, you can see even they had to maintain and repair their own tools. These lost civilization relies on stone to sell their narrative, but they never care to share actual stone workers. They rely on censorship because their grift would unravel in a second. So I'm just asking, I just, what, archaeologists and academics can't explain this. Well, it's, uh, yes, they can, but you don't need to. You would just go to a, you can look it up on YouTube. You type in stone masonry and you follow the clues and you'll find all this stuff um, very, very easily. So, yeah, uh, this, this is nothing, the caves. Uh, the parallel lines, I mean, do you really have to, uh, I mean, like, no, not not even close, you know, they're parallelish at best. Um, very badly parallelish at best. And then we're going closer, we see the tool marks. Now, the shadows themselves show the, the roughness, the imperfection, the, the hand tooling, lack of care to be really professional about it because it wasn't necessary for uh, this level of work would be rejected by a master stonemason if his apprentice posted to that i'll put the links in the description where pre-apprentice people were applying for an apprenticeship for stonemason and the master stonemason even though their work was said nah not only could this is not even good enough to be repaired i'll put that link so this is no not even close uh, so is the cave impressive? Because I also see, on, for instance, Baraba Caves. Oh, they would suffocate in there. Uh, they're a tunnel. And we'll come to that in a moment. Um, but is the cave impressive? This is just a normal ancient, uh, even not even ancient, this is just old quarries uh, where people, you know, like not even, no, not even remotely imp- uh, impressive. Um, Odessa Catacombs. One of a, so under the catacombs underneath Paris were a limestone quarry, and there are hundreds of kilometres of them. But underneath Odessa, there are tunnels, labyrinths running up to two thousand five hundred or kilometres, or sixteen hundred miles underneath the city. Okay, incoming lost civilization. When they hear about this, oh, we've got new clickbait. Click tunnels circled the world because look at Odessa. Or therefore this is a relic of the lost city because there was a cataclysm and in the ancient times they tunneled out these to go <laughs> I guarantee you that's what they got that's what how they work but anyway let's zoom in a little bit closer on these tool marks this is an advanced unexplainable lost technology of a lost civilization something something Graham Hancock melt Walter pulse 1a and this is Argyle Street in Sydney, also sandstone. You'll see these same marks in limestone quarries as well. Okay, uh, like, okay, wherever, firstly, on those larger group, where are the parallel lines? I, I don't, you know, uh, for advanced, by hand tooling, eyeballing standards, you would expect a hell of a lot better than this. So for those lost ancient, like it's, they point at stone and they pretend to be interested in stone. It's to sell their, their crooked game. To you know, to live a lifestyle of cheatery and lies. Uh, here's an example of some sandstone here in Sydney. You can see a slightly different style, slightly different style, and then we have this piece here. Well, you know, uh, to you know, this is better than Long U Caves. Okay, stonemason, I'll put this link in the description. Like you type in stonemason, you can find this. What's he using? He's using a toothed chisel. And what do we get? Parallel lines. I mean, like, come on. This, this is 
Long Hugh Caves is... He, he, he must be an Atlantean from the ancient lost civilization. We've advanced lost ancient high technology. Uh, standard stonemason's tools, including the toothed um, tools as well to give a fine addressing. These are the kind of tools that have been used since antiquity. And they're going to, well, copper versus steel. Okay, um, come to that in a moment. All right. So, uh, firstly, ancient copper was impure. I got, I made a, I, I hammered down a copper pipe, which is pure modern copper, which is not as hard or tough as the ancient uh, copper and in sandstone, like no big deal. Because I know, ah, oh, but lol, they had copper tools. In that video with the stonemason, he's gonna point out that he's using carbide tools, but in those black and white ones, that's pre-carbide. So they were using those back then. That, so if you're gonna come at this uh, Johanna James copper chisels type of stuff, it is pure ignorance. And uh, when it goes to the, you know, really to the, to the character of these people who sell this because they're, they're doing the research, they're leading tours, they're doing all this stuff and uh, they don't care. This is, uh, I just grabbed a couple, there's these old salt mines in Europe where they carved out beautiful cathedrals, you'll see them in other parts of the world as well. But again, what do we see? The same types of uh, tool marks as well. They didn't suffocate down in these quarries and mines. So it goes to the Baraba cave, you know, I'm an expert and, you know, like how did they get the ventilation and all that in there? Uh, the Baraba caves, as an example, is not is barely a cave. It's a little, it's a living room connect, you know, right next to the air. Uh, so if you hear it like BAM and, and all of these, you know, lost ancient high technology, they have not a clue of what they're talking about. Um, or maybe Long U Cape, well that's got Buddhist art, uh, sculpture in there, here we've got Christian in here, so maybe they all the, yeah, it's you know, the lost ancient civilization. This would also, I've done a before on Petra, um, but those tool marks at Petra, uh, no, uh, not advanced machining technology, not even in the least. Uh, these guys are cons, frauds, crooks. They don't care about the truth. They complain about suppression and censorship, and yet they're the ones involved in it. Uh, it's not that they w were in error a long time ago and then learnt better and then would add to it. No, they're still selling this because they are crooks. So um, as long as they keep making with this nonsense, they'll keep doing it. They don't care. They don't literally don't care. They just pretend to care. Therefore, lost civilization, we've lost technology. It's a new age religion. Uh, they're looking for a lost civilization with advanced technology to work stone, but they don't have the time to look at the thousands year old craft of traditional stone masonry. Curious being is incurious, or, you know, uh, is actually should say censorship being. Um, so this is Long U Caves is uh, not only does it is it a, a complete bust, it's just another example of a lost ancient high technology, lost civilization community pretending to care. They use stone as a gateway to sell you one the mystic lost civilization, kumbaya, spirituality type of stuff. They really have no soul. Um, they they don't care. They pretend to care, and. You can see the, especially the trolls and shills and hardcore believers in the comments who get so angry that truth is presented, like the, I'm just a truth seeker looking for truth. And then you present something and well, okay, here you go. And how angry they get. Um, really, this, this is the lost civilization, lost ancient, it is toxic. And their lack of attention to detail, and again, lack of caring to correct, even once they're shown the stuff, speaks volumes to the character of these people in that they don't have any. And so it's, you know, they're very good at what they do. They really know how to do the narrative and the script. Uh, and, you know, everyone's again, you know, we're all again me. But uh, no, it's, it's totally bogus and worst of all it's so easy to to have checked if they had cared they would have come across this and even if they saw it and still 
believed in what they were saying, they would at least like will say, well, look, okay, uh, here's what's presented, and we can debunk this this way. Or, but they can't show the opposite view or the contrary information because they know it ruins their lives. And uh, yeah, so long you caves. Uh, well, it's nice, but in terms of lost technology, not even close to it, not even, uh, no, absolutely not. Um, but, well, a grifter's got a grift, and so they need, you know, to sell this lost civilization, alien interven intervention, uh, they've got to sell it, and, and they'll find whatever they can and use every dirty psychological trick in the book you look at you know, look up the signs you're in a cult look up the tactics of it like actual you know like you know everyone realizes what a cult this is how they operate they operate exactly the same they they are a cult and those at the top those who present these videos are cult leaders and they so they know what they're doing so long you caves absolute bust not even close actually cringe uh, that you would even like remotely go there as well and this would apply to Petra and these other places as well so um, if you've been caught up in this you know well these people are very convincing they're very seductive um, you know they do all they talk to talk but they don't walk to walk and they are scammers they are cons and the they don't care they'll they'll they take your life savings if you give it to them and they'll do it without a least bit of conscience and and sleep well on that knowledge that they're crooks because they don't care. SGD, have a good one. Lost Ancient High Technology is a scam, it's a cult, and it's a fraud.